Let's take a look at this prime image stabilized lens from Canon. All right, I have the Canon 35 millimeter F2 and it is image stabilized. So what is really cool about this lens, it's fairly compact, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't weigh too much. Uh, the build is, you know, it's a little bit of that plastic, but the focus ring feels good. And if you switch between autofocus and manual focus, you can actually, in autofocus mode, you can still turn the manual focus ring and grab focus that way, which is really nice. And this being a 35 millimeter lens is a pretty nice focal length to have on your crop sensor DSLR because it's gonna function more like a 50 millimeter. The field of view is actually gonna be like 56 millimeters. So that's a nice field of view, a focal length for a lens. And this lens is really cool, again, because it's compact, but it has this amazing feature that you don't get in a prime lens, which is image stabilization. So this is a part of a series of lenses. I think there's three of them near this focal length that came out from Canon probably maybe around about a year ago, and they're image stabilized. But you get that prime, you get that really large aperture, okay? So you can go into low light situations, open up your aperture all the way to F2 on this lens, which is nice and wide, but you can handhold your shots because you have the image stabilizer. So you can switch on image stabilization and go out and take shots that look just that much better. There's a small difference between what image stabilization does when you're handholding the camera, but it makes all the difference and can definitely make your video look a lot more professional. The other thing I actually like about this 35 millimeter is something fairly simple and it's the lens hood. Uh, when you put it on, it actually has a little bit of a lock right there. Okay, so it locks onto the lens. So when you're walking around uh, the way I do, it's just on a, a strap. Uh, like a black rapid strap and that goes slung around my shoulder and this will sit in the back and for a lens hood that is not secured on the lens it can easily fall off because it's going to hit your back and stuff like that so this has a lock so you have to press the button to actually release it and that is something cool that i didn't even uh, expect to find but i think is something that should be on every or come with every lens hood all right, hey, one more feature that I almost forgot that I actually really like about this lens is the minimum focusing distance. This you can get within just under nine and a half inches, which is pretty close compared to the Sigma, the older Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4, uh, which you can only get within little less than 16 inches. So that's a pretty big distance, especially when you wanna get really close to something. So while it's of course not macro, I really enjoyed how close I could get to the subject and still be able to focus. So another cool feature on this lens. So it's really nice to have a lens this size and be able to put on image stabilization and get f 2.0. So a lot of advantages in this small lens. So it's a good lens. I've shot with it. I think it did a good job overall, but the best way to tell is to just go ahead and take a look. All right, I'll see you next time. Enjoy the video.